Hey guys, I am on my way to the gym. Not because I like to go, but because I gotta move. Because finals week is coming and I have been sitting and not moving. So I gotta tell you guys how much my life, my life, my life has changed um, in starting the third year of dental school. So I will be back with that after a nice sweaty workout. is finally time to talk. Oh wait, I need to uh, text my patient one sec. Okay, I just texted my patient for tomorrow. Anyways, so summer starting third year has been so amazing like exactly well not exactly but very close to what I was kind of wanting from dental school so we kind of have our own schedules um and our main thing that's going on is seeing patients so we're scheduled certain days that we have to come regardless of if we booked a patient or not and um yeah we're in the clinic we see patients we assist or we you know we're the primary provider honestly it feels like work it feels like i'm working for free <laughs> well not for free i'm actually paying to work so um it's very different but um I really, really enjoy it. Very different than second year, which I kind of gave a rundown in my previous video. Um, much more relaxed as of now. I heard it does pick up pace, but um, right now I have 11 patients. Yeah, I think I have 11 patients and it's, it's crazy. It's fun. It's different. It's what I'm here for basically so it's really really um it's fun is basically the, the takeaway message um next week is finals week we don't have midterms starting third year which is so amazing like I am so happy about that um but yeah so basically just studying for finals um which consists of an emergency medicine uh, lecture series that we had and um, radiology and a bunch of PBL, which is basically um, anatomy, physiology, pathology, histology, every ology that you could think of. So the way things run in the clinic, just as a little, um, kind of glimpse of like what goes on in clinic and how clinic runs so all the appointments literally run three to four hours minimum well three hours minimum four hours four and a half hours maximum um and things go really slowly mainly because we're waiting to get approved or checked off or swiped for a specific uh thing before we continue that takes a really 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 long time um, depending on what you're doing, the first like two or three appointments that you have with the patient starting off take forever because there's different faculty that need to come, check them off, check the, you know, health history, check the, you know, check to see everything's fine, check in the mouth, check, you know, on all their like glands, their head and neck. And like a lot of the patients have specific, you know, health concerns that, cause you know a discussion to go on so that goes on for x amount of time too and i mean it's it's definitely good in terms of learning but it just takes forever for the patients to leave the chair basically 
my patient just texted me saying he confirmed that he will be coming tomorrow. Now let's fingers crossed that he actually makes it. Um, no, my cancellations, honestly, there's, thank God, there hasn't been, there's only been one cancellation last minute for me and that is really good so far. So I want to keep that streak and hopefully my patients will come see me because please. Anyways, where was I? Is it dark? Oh my god, that's so much better. Wow, I've been talking in the dark. I'm so sorry. Now you can see my face. Not that it's very nice right now, but it's a little... It's not like we're in the dark now, so this is good progress. Anyways, I clearly forgot how to make videos. And this is covering and this is... All right, now we're good. I am not starting over. I'm just going to continue. <laughs> Yeah, so the first few appointments take a really long time and then once you get started um, in terms of like, you know, getting, doing fillings, doing um, restorative work or any other work that you're really doing, it, it does pick up a little bit of pace because you only check in with faculty at a specific time point and they're not, like you're not waiting for faculty that's like running the entire clinic to come to you. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the rundown. Um, the most exciting thing I think that happened this trimester, the beginning of, you know, the summer trimester of starting into third year, I don't even know what to call it. It's technically third year, but like we're starting third year, it's like the summer trimester, which is like a transition period. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, this trimester. Um, I think the funnest thing was doing an extirpation. Um, in emergency rotation. So we do have rotation still. Some people had pediatric rotation. Some people had oral surgery rotation. Um, I only had urgent care or emergency rotation as you can, as they call it. So that was really, really, really fun because patients would come in, they would assign you a patient and you kind of basically had to go through and figure out why they're in pain because patients come to emergency clinic when they're really, really in pain and really, really need to get out of pain. Um, and so we kind of do a like quick survey of what's going on. We take x-rays and we kind of give them a diagnosis of what's going on. And we either refer them to um, like the advanced endo clinic or advanced operative clinic or oral surgery, or we get to do um, treatment there as well if were if it's not too complex of a case so i got to do an extirpation my very first extirpation on actually an armenian patient which i didn't know at the time <laughs> um i'm armenian if you didn't know um but yeah i found out way later when i was finishing his root canal so yeah i got to do a root canal um not well it was multiple appointments but the first appointment was in urgent care and it was the extirpation just to get them out of pain and it was really, really fun. It was really, really scary because um, that was the first time I touched a drill to a tooth and it was insane. And it was like scary, but so fun at the same time. Yeah, so that was my experience in urgent care. And what else happened? So I did a root canal, which was probably the most, the craziest thing that happened. Um, a lot of people struggle to get like root canals and I'm really lucky that I got to do it and it was on a molar which was insane but um, yeah. The other thing that's been exciting this trimester is I'm starting an implant case with one of my patients so we just uh, got to the point of me waxing up for that tooth and they're gonna have to come in for a CT scan next week and basically a sense gonna be made and hopefully in September, I'll be placing their implant, which is crazy. And I can't wait. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with third year so far, um, at least this trimester. And I just wanted to give you guys a rundown cause I've been MIA major. Um, but I definitely want to share my experiences with you and talk about different um, situations and patients and cases. So yeah, I will see you hopefully very soon. If it's your first time 
clicking on my videos check out my first year it's like literally every single week of my first year is on my youtube channel and um what else what else do i have oh pre-dents if you are watching i have a whole section of pre-dental type videos um or if you're interested in dentistry and you don't know if you want to do dentistry or medicine or any other branch of education you can definitely check out my pre-dental videos and even my like first week or like my uh my first year to see if you're interested in dentistry um and you can always dm me on instagram my information is always in the bio below so yeah i hope you like this video and i hope you're happy i'm back and i'm sorry half of this was in the dark um, but I will see you guys soon. Wish me luck on finals.